Hello everyone out there, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a brand new sandwich from the company known as Jimmy John's. If you don't know, Jimmy John's is a deli sub type sandwich place. Um, similar to a Subway, but they do it in a different way. Um, Jimmy John's was... Uh, originally created by a man named Jimmy John but in let's see here September 25th 2019 right before the pandemic Inspire Brands bought Jimmy John's and now is owned by Inspire Brands uh, if you don't know what Inspire Brands is it is when Arby's and Buffalo Wild Wings merged into one company and that happened August 16 2018 since that merge, they've acquired a lot of other places. They have Duncan slash Baskin Robbins. Of course, Arby's and Buffalo Wild Wings. Those were the two that started the whole thing. Um, Jimmy John's, Sonic Drive-In, and then two lesser known places, Mr. Donut and Rusty Taco. Now, Mr. Donut was actually owned previously by Dunkin' Donuts. Um... And most were converted to Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, this was in the early 1990s. I did find out there's only, there is still one company inside the United States that still is running as a Mr. Donut. Um, but I looked it up. It looks pretty old and dingy. And I wouldn't uh, recommend going there. Um, but there are some Mr. Donuts outside of the United States that still run... Um, and look new, in fact, and updated. Rusty Taco kind of looked like a, that's the other one that I didn't really recognize. It's kind of like a upscale Taco Bell. They don't have burritos, they have tacos and taco bowls. Um, but it looks like they have like more fresh things. Um, look them up. Rusty Donut. There's nothing close enough to me to, to try. I think the closest one to me is in Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, but they do have quite a few locations across the United States. Um, but anyway, just in a short amount of time, Arby's, Buffalo Wild Wings, Sonic, Jimmy John's all came together into one company. Um, at one point, they did own a stake in Wendy's, but during one of the later acquisitions, they sold it to have the funds to afford the purchase, I think, of Duncan. Because I think Duncan was the last one they purchased. But anyway, getting uh, connecting that to this new item, when Inspire bought Jimmy John's, they started doing more things, uh, unique sandwiches, limited time things, and I really like it. Um, since the acquisition, I've tried all my favorite things. They don't think they don't seem they have changed at all. And I've tried a lot of the new things, and I really like everything that I've tasted so far. And um, it seems like they're coming out with one new sandwich, maybe two or three times a month, and like they're just changing whatever the limited time offering is. Uh, if you remember the Frenchie, the black and blue. Um, there was another one that I can't remember right now. I got it like on the last day they were selling it, basically. Uh, but this one just started Monday of this week. Today is Tuesday of this week. And that sandwich is the new Zesty Garden Turkey Club. And what is in a Zesty Garden Turkey Club? You might be asking yourselves. Well, luckily I have that right in front of me. It is a turkey, bacon, and provolone sandwich, which is something they've already had. But here's where it gets interesting. They have an herb aioli, which is basically like a, a mayonnaise mixed with some green stuff. Slow roasted tomatoes. Seems like a new thing that I haven't seen at Jimmy John's before. Pickled red onions. Another thing. They've had red onions before, I think, but I've never started to uh, call them pickled red onions. Cheesy panko crumbs, another interestingly new thing, and lettuce, which, you know, they've had lettuce this whole time. But here's the picture 
in the uh, package. One other bonus bit of information that I'll uh, educate you please about. When you go inside of a Jimmy John's, and I don't know if this is everything, every Jimmy John's, or just this one, but they have something called the boxed lunch. And it's different from their regular combo. The combo, you get the sandwich, you get a drink, and then you get to choose either chips, a cookie, or a pickle. But if you order the box lunch, you get the chips and the cookie and a quarter of a pickle. And like this, quarter of a pickle is not tiny. It's a good sized quarter of a pickle. So if you go inside, inside, of the Jimmy John's to order, ask for the box lunch and you get all the things. You don't have to choose. And it's equivalent to getting the beverage for free. It's like if you paid for the sandwich full price, you paid for the chips full price, you paid a quarter of the price of the pickle, you pay for the cookie, but then you also got a free drink. That's kind of how the pricing works out for that. You cannot do that online. I looked online. They have box lunch under their catering options, but in order to cater, you have to buy a certain amount. Plus, the catering lunch boxes aren't, they don't have everything here listed. But anyway, let's get to this review. Here's the sandwich. As you can see, there's a picture. Here's the sandwich. Just so you know, the other side is the one that's closed. Nothing is bursting out the side there, so that's uh, something. Let's see if I open it up, what it looks like. So you can see there's the crumbs, the breadcrumbs, and the lettuce. And I see bacon, turkey, provolone. And then if I look on the bottom side, you can see uh, some roasted tomatoes and some herb aioli. It's kind of green looking. It's actually better look like that. Oops. Green aioli, turkey, provolone. I only dropped a little bit of the panko crumbs over there, so I'm pretty happy about that. Well, let's give it a taste. Is it as good as all the other limited time things? Hopefully. You know, it, it doesn't look anything like the picture. It never does. Hopefully it tastes taste good. Here we go. And to confirm, there are pickled red onions. There are pickled. Let's go. Vinaigrette type of pickling. The roasted tomatoes and the pickled red onions really add this complexity to the flavor of the sandwich. And I know like of the things people take off sandwiches when they order, it's usually like onions, pickles, or tomatoes, or a combination of the three. Those seem to be like the three ingredients that most people without a sense of taste take off their sandwich. But if you're like me, and you like building flavors and complexities to create something that's more than the sum of its parts, then this sandwich you will enjoy. The roasted tomatoes give you that rich flavor that uh, tomatoes can sometimes have when they're cooked or prepared in a way that brings out that uh, glomatic acid that's inside of a tomato, which almost gives it a meaty flavor.
I just got a bite where I really notice these panko breadcrumbs. They're about this size or smaller. But I definitely know I just bit into one this size because I felt this like little thing that crunched. And it wasn't like hard and stale. It was crispy and fresh. Where it gives you just like one quick crisp as you crunch it. That has a garlicky, cheesy flavor to it. This is a well thought of and put together sandwich. The bulk of the protein is turkey. Typically, a turkey is not going to be like something that draws people in. The flavor of turkey in general really uh, is a base to add upon. It's not offensive, but it doesn't have tons of flavor. You put some strips of bacon on that. You add a salty, porky richness. The lettuce and the panko both together add this like crispy, crunchy uh, texture. And the lettuce also holds um, the sauce in there as well. Because I can see the sauce is not only on the bottom, but it's also on the top. And the lettuce kind of like clings on to that aioli. The, the provolone is probably the thing that probably does the least for me in this. It has a light flavor. It's not an aged provolone or a smoked provolone. It's a basic provolone. I would say if, if you take anything off this, the provolone would be the one that least affects the flavor. And I've already described the tomato and the, the pickled onion has that like vinaigrette tanginess to it. So you have like this sharp tanginess of this pickled onion. You have a rich umami of the roasted tomato. The turkey and the bacon come together and give you a nice piece of protein that has a salty uh, note to it with the bacon, but you get a lot of content and meat from the excuse me the turkey itself without it being just a loaded bacon sandwich. And I think then the bacon would kind of like take over the flavor. And again, that cheesy, garlicky panko that's in here, it's giving you these little crispy nuggets almost that's inside of there. They're not, so, not like hard there where you feel like you're biting on like a seed or anything hard. It kind of, just, in your natural chewing, it'll just crunch up, but you'll feel that crunch and it will release this cheesy garlic flavor. It does say on here that it is one vibrant sandwich. And I would definitely agree. This new zesty garden turkey club is super vibrant. The tomatoes, the onions, the herb aioli, even those garlicky, cheesy panko crumbs, they all combine to make this really bright sandwich. Whereas the last one, the, uh, the black and blue one, had like blue cheese and I think like a horseradish sauce into, into it, it was a really earthy, rich sandwich. This has some richness in it with the, the bacon and the tomato give it a little bit of richness. But the main flavors you get are these bright flavors. And it, it, it tastes like you're kind of like 
eating through the garden. The lettuce and the tomato and the onions. And the herbs. But you're still getting a nice bit of protein in there with the turkey and the bacon. Um, so whoever is in charge at Inspire Brands, specifically at their Jimmy John's uh, kitchens, test kitchens, you're doing a great job. And I fully endorse them giving you a raise um, and expanding even um, slowly, maybe two sandwiches at a time, or maybe more sandwiches per, uh, per season or per year, because everything you've come out with has been a 10 out of 10. I've enjoyed every one of them. They've all been thoughtfully put together. They've all included new things. It's not like when Taco Bell comes out with something else and they're like, well, we got a, a, a new dust to put on our Doritos taco shell and then we're just going to sell it um, eight different ways but with the same other ingredients. This thing had multiple new things. The roasted tomato, the pickled onions, the herb aioli, and the panko, the cheesy panko. All of those were new things specifically added to make this sandwich. And it works. Every part of it works together and it tastes uniquely different than any other item on their menu. And for that, Jimmy John's, I'm going to give you two thumbs up. If you're one of the people who didn't like Jimmy John's before because you saw the Jimmy John's guy um, big game hunting, just know this. He no longer owns it. He's no longer part of it. It's now Inspire Brand Jimmy John's. And Jimmy John never created any of these new things. He had no part of these new things. It happened all after Inspire. So you can go and happily order this with knowing that you're not contributing to some guy who's a big game hunter. He has nothing to do with this. You're not giving him money at all. He's completely out of the business. All you know is that you're eating a delicious sandwich. For a great deal if you get the lunchbox too. Zesty Garden Turkey Club Highly recommend If you have a Jimmy John's near you you can get delivered super fast or you can go there and pick it up It took me like not even 30 seconds between when I pulled my car out of the machine to order it and when they said your order was ready so super fast super delicious good deals i highly recommend you try the zesty garden cherry club from jimmy john's as soon as possible remember this is a limited time offer deal whatnot and i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we got some interesting things coming along and uh i hope to see you there when it happens and I hope that you're interested as much as me. Anyway, bye for now.